hi again it's me v just a person who will be a straight a student if k-pop was a major so it's friday which means that it's time for a new k-pop friday here on my channel where i react to a k-pop group or artist that i haven't reacted to before and you read the title it is finally time for rocket punch i've been meaning or like having them on my new k-pop friday list for months i swear months but i don't know why i've been putting it off i've just had other groups that i rather have reacted to so yeah and i think i'm not quite sure but i think i got a comment once saying that well this person said that they didn't think I would like Rocket Punch because I think I mentioned them in a new Cup of Friday saying that I would react to Rocket Punch someday. Um, at least I think that was about Rocket Punch. But I know that they, they very recently had a comeback um, for the song called Bouncy and just by like the thumbnail. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So I am excited and I'm going into this with a very open mind. I love doing my new k Fridays, I love discovering new groups, even though maybe sometimes I react to groups that's not usually my cup of tea, but I always give new groups a chance. So it's rocket punch time. <laughs> so rocket punch is a six member girl group under volume entertainment that's cool that's a well-known entertainment and they debuted on august 7th 2019 with the title track bim bam boom okay so they're, they're fairly new group like just over half a year old volume entertainment just have to see oh okay okay, okay. i just had to see who oh my god what other artists and groups were under volume infinite and lovelies i haven't reacted to neither of those two i will they're on my new cable friday list also golden child which is a group i love so much but i kind of forgot that golden child were under volume and they have so many solo artists as well Okay, 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 okay. So, the members in Rocket Punch is Yonhee. She's the leader, vocalist, rapper, dancer, born in 2000. The leader is born in 2000, wow. Then we have Yuri. She's a vocalist and a dancer. She's Japanese, born in 97. She's a former member of the J-pop group AKB48. She was part of wait 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 produce forty eight. She came to the last chapter of produce forty eight with the sixteenth place. Yuri, Yuri. I think I know who she is. Like I, I'm actually no jokes. Currently rewatching produce forty eight. Produce forty eight. Yuri. I'm pretty sure I know who she is because I'm currently on episode four and they were two teams that performed was it short hair by aoa and i'm pretty sure that yuri was in that group okay yeah she yuri she is the one that i'm thinking of in produce 48 that's so cool so happy for her oh she's yeah so she's japanese and she got to debut finally in a cable group that's awesome okay next member so Yun, vocalist dancer, born in 2001. Yun Kyung, vocalist, rapper, dancer, visual, born in 2001. So he, vocalist, rapper, dancer, born in 2003. Da Hyun, vocalist, dancer, Makne, born in 2005. Ah! 2005, is she like 14, 15? Damn. Okay, that was the members. So cool. The Yuri is in this group. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna react to three songs. And kind of glad I don't react to more because, um, well, Rocket Punch is a fairly, fairly new group and they don't have that many songs out. Well, songs, yeah. Music video, not that many. 
So I'm going back to the debut song, Bim Bam Boom. <laughs> Love is over, which I think is a B-side, but it does have a music video. And Bouncy. Let me just check. Love, Love is over. Yeah, Love is over. It was on the same album as Bim Bam Boom. Okay, excited. And don't get offended if I am just saying it right now don't get offended please don't get offended if i don't like the songs straight away there might be songs that will grow on me in the future but like it happens i can't like everything i react to because i pretty much react to everything in k-pop so it's impossible <laughs> for me to like everything so and i have like a thing for girl crush concepts not only but that's like that's like my thing um and i know that rocket rocket punch is not girl crush well i don't know but i think they are not but i might be wrong so but as i said going into this with a very open mind and there were a few rappers in the group so that's great so bim bam boom let's go Got my coffee as always. She's gorgeous. Her body. Damn. I like her a lot. Okay, it's building up. Okay, okay, okay. I guess you can kind of call it girl I don't know girl crush is not what it used to be girl crush now is like more powerful and like I don't know Oh, it looks so real. <laughs> I already have a bias. No like a first impression bias but i don't know who she is i'll tell you later like i don't know her name is what i meant What's up with the leopard? <laughs> I 
not gonna lie that was pretty damn good <laughs> um i'm just gonna check out the line distribution to see who i liked <laughs> okay suyun um suyun 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 what are you sure I think so but it does say that she's a vocalist and a dancer i thought she was rapping a bit as well maybe not okay anyways now love is over it's the next song i'm gonna react to let's go it's not the same set as the previous one. Oh, i might be mixing two members up i don't know Okay, so it's not really a music video, but kind of. Because that's too young, right? That's a good chorus. You're <sighs> so cute. This part is great. I actually might be mixing two members. Okay, okay. It makes sense though, because this was a B side. I was like, oh, we got a B side that has a music video, but it was a music video, but kind of not. It wasn't like an official music video. Right. Damn it. I must be mixing two members up. I think those two that kind of look like. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. I have figured it out. And I have kind of <laughs> mixed up two members. But it is Suyeon that I really like. But I was surprised that she wasn't a rapper because I thought that she was rapping when it was Yun Kyung. Yun Kyung. So I kind of mixed up Yun Kwan. Yun Kyung, her, and Suyeon. Right. 
So I guess I really like Young Kion as well. <laughs> there you go. Um, so there was, I wasn't crazy. There was two members that I kind of got mixed up. Um, so now last song, the song I'm most excited about, which is Bouncy, which was released just over a month ago. So Bouncy, let's go. Volume. The fact that I forgot that Golden Child wasn't volume. How come this is so different? This is badass, I like it. Vocals are great. Is that my girl? Got a love dance break. This part is great. I know. Okay, that was bouncy. That was their second mini album as well. Okay, okay. That was Rocket Punch. And f here's the funny thing. Um, I think they remind me just by like the, their music video style. Cherry Bullet. Yes, ki yeah. Kind of a little, a little bit reminds me of Cherry Bullet. Is that the group I'm thinking of? Maybe, I don't know. Um, which is funny because I mixed up the group Rocket Punch and Cherry Bullet before I even reacted to either of those two groups. Yeah. Okay. Rocket Punch. I definitely like Suryan. Her vocals are great. Right. Okay. Finally reacted to Rocket Punch. See, now I almost said Cherry Bullet. Damn. 
Um, yeah, because now I don't have to wonder if I'm going to like them or not. They are. It's a promising group. They have very good potential. I won't say that either of those three songs will be songs that I will react react to, will listen to a lot. But I would say that Bouncy, definitely my favorite. That was fun and different. Um, and yeah, some amazing vocalists in the group. The rapping was pretty good as well. And they're all visuals, like, damn. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what they do next in a new comeback excited about that and yeah let me know your bias in the group if you have one and as always before you leave this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again another time bye